my last video that was about uh, that scholarship, I have been receiving a lot of questions from you and most of the questions were uh, like, uh, my intended field is not in the list, what should I do? Is there any scholarship in the field of computer engineering, electrical engineering or overall engineering? So I'm going to answer um, to your question. Yes, there is a fully funded scholarship to study engineering in Germany. And this video is going to be about that specific scholarship. So the name of the scholarship is TGGS scholarship. And it's a joint venture scholarship between uh, DAD, which is the German governmental uh, academic exchange services which usually provides all the scholarships and RTWS University which is one of the prestigious universities in Germany that is located in Aachen in Germany and another university in Thailand um, and its name is a little bit difficult <laughs> its name is King Mongkut University of Technology North Bangkok so you can already guess uh, from the name is that it's going to be a dual study scholarship where you would do your first year in Thailand and your second year in Germany at RTWH University. So the next question is which fields are included in this scholarship? So there are five major engineering fields are included in which you can get this fully funded scholarship. Number first is electrical and computer engineering. Number second is chemical and process engineering. Number third is mechanical engineering simulation and design number fourth um, this is very interesting to me automotive safety and assessment engineering and number five is materials and production engineering so if you're someone who would like to study in any of these fields can apply for this scholarship and you will have to do your first year in thailand and second year in germany and in Germany, it's only for uh, the same university, only you, uh, you will be studying at RTWH University, which is very famous in Germany. Um, like I, I can tell you this much is that I, I work for a multinational company and around 60 to 70% of my colleagues have studied at RTWH University, which means it has a very good reputation. So if you're someone who is looking for opportunities, I would highly recommend that you do apply for this scholarship and um, hopefully uh, you can get the scholarship and maybe you'll be here in Germany starting next year. So the next question is um, how much or to what extent this scholarship is gonna cover your expenses, right? So uh, the number of the amount is gonna be different for your first year in Thailand and uh, your second year in Germany but it will definitely cover your full-time tuition fee, your monthly allowance, and um, sometimes also like, for example, you have two years, right? You have to be graduate, um, you have to graduate in these two years. And sometimes if you, for some reason, extend your study period in Germany, you uh, are not able to finish in one year here in Germany, then after that, uh, maybe those expenses you will have to cover on your own, but that is only the living expenses, but everything else will be covered for, by the scholarship. So the next question is about application process. So first, uh, we will look into what is the deadline, right? When are the applications are going to be open? So the application is open every year, 1st of January, so which means you have enough time to prepare your documents. The application will be open 1st of January and it will be open until 15th of April. So you can apply between January and April and in the meantime, you can already work on your documents. And uh, the documents that you would be needing to apply for this scholarship is obviously you need to have a bachelor's degree in engineering field. Your degrees and your transcript have to be verified by your university and I would highly recommend to get them attested by HEC as well. And two letters of recommendation and if you have work experience especially then I would highly recommend to get one letter of recommendation from your uh, employer, from your boss 
and one recommendation from a university. It's always very helpful to show that you also have some experience in your field. But if you, if, if you don't have experience, that is also okay. You can also get both of the recommendation letters from your university, from uh, any of your professors. You would also be needing your CV. So also try to make a good CV. Don't lie in your CV, but try to put all the information in your CV about your experience, about your education, about your hobbies, or about your certifications, if any. And the next one would be a one page of motivation letter. This is very important. So I would highly recommend that you already start working on this. So try to mention uh, what motivates you to do your masters, what motivates you to study engineering and try to be honest and try to uh, put examples or try to tailor the LOM based on your intended field. So for example, if you're applying for electrical engineering or computer engineering, uh, how, like, how does your past experience actually is gonna help you to study this field? So try to work on it and uh, that's something you would need. <clears throat> and the next ones are your transcript and uh, English proficien uh, proficiency test result. So either TOEFL or IELTS. So a lot of you also ask me if you need IELTS for the scholarship. Yes, you do need it. That is also mandatory for the scholarship. So you have enough time until uh, December or even after that because the application period is between January and April. So you can already start working on it. And you also have to pay application fee that is a uh, 1000 Thai currency, which would be in euros around 26 euros. So that is also not a lot. You would also be needing to pay that and show them the proof that you have done it. So these are um, only the basic requirements or the basic documents that you need to apply for the scholarship. And like I've already said, the deadline would be in April. The application would be open in January. So please start working on it already. And you would be doing your first year in Thailand and the scholarship is gonna cover your tuition fee and your monthly expenses as well. The exact amount is not clear at this point. It will be clear in January. But as far as I've heard from one of my friends who have studied on this scholarship, it is more than enough to survive, to have a good life, and also to uh, do some tours or to do some traveling within the country. Or when you come here to Europe, you can also do that. But there's also one other question um, a lot of students usually ask, like, do you have to go back to your home country after you complete your studies? Then the answer is no. And you come to Germany, and when you're done with your degree, you can still stay here um, either maybe to do uh, further PhD or maybe you um, you have already f found a job so you can stay here but um, the important thing or the main requirement to stay here that you should have a job in your hand um, right after your study so that is also one of the main requirements <clears throat> but that is I think very common for everyone in Germany uh, once you're done with your studies you have to find a job here in Germany and they do give you some time uh, usually when you're studying in Germany to find a job or you can extend your um, student visa as long as uh, you are able to find a job so that is also something you can do but that is something for later once you're here once you're done with your degree so um, these are one of the some of the basic information about this scholarship um, which was TGGS scholarship so I would highly recommend everyone uh, apply for the scholarship. But one other thing other than the documents that I've already mentioned earlier, one other document that you would be requiring is the application form. It kind of looks like this. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I will try to put the link in the description. Uh, you also have to fill this form together with your other documents. In this form, they're basically asking what uh, degree program you're applying, whether you're applying for master's or PhD, or uh, some information about your education, some of your personal information, and as well as if you already have 
your IELTS result in hand and some of the um, other basic information. So it's pretty straightforward information, but if you still have any question regarding the form, regarding the application process, you can always um, ask me in the comments and I will try my best to answer all your questions. But um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can also go through the form yourself. You also have to attach uh, two passport size pictures as well to the application form. So you need this application form and all other documents which I've mentioned earlier and you're, you already have enough time until end of this year because the application will be open 1st of January until April. So I wish you good luck to everyone who would like to study on a fully funded scholarship and would like to study in the field of engineering. So um, I wish you good luck and maybe I see you in Germany in a year or two years. But until then, good luck and keep liking and keep supporting me and just press the subscribe button. But until then, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.